Hello again, my name is Kevin Hannafin. I'm here at DIT Conservatory of Music. Um, I'm a lecturer in saxophone. I'm here with my student Darren Hatch. And we're going to talk a little bit today about the Overtone series. Um, so, Darren, as you know, the Overtone series is this, you know, every note has an overtone. And what we're going to try and do with the saxophone is manipulate the, the overtones um, and, and, and divide them up. On a trumpet, this is what you, you, you do, or especially on a natural trumpet, naturally. So it, it, there's a, an octave leap, then a fifth, fourth, third, minor third. And the higher you, you go up, uh, the closer they get. So that's why all Baroque trumpet stuff is written quite so highly. Um, anyway, this is the saxophone. So on a saxophone, if we take our lowest fundamental, which is the B flat, <laughs> by using the armature and, and, and sort of tightening it and, and blowing the air, more across the top of the mouthpiece, we can get this note here. And then an F. Okay, so um, that, that's just the, the basic overtone series, all use fingering a low B flat. So Darren, if you could just uh, start off with the F, the F is sometimes a bit easier than, than, than the, uh, the, the first B flat, by, by playing the F, and then fingering the low B flat immediately. Perfect, now the, the B flat above that. Okay, and the D above that. Now come down from the D. So what, what that is, and, and, and that is obviously a, a trumpet call, which is played on a natural trumpet, using the, the, the natural overtones of the instrument. Anyway, why, why do we do this? It, it, this is, first of all, a, a route to, to the harmonic series, but also, it, it, again, much like the growling stuff, it, it opens your sound up, it gets you blowing from here, you're not using your tongue quite so much. And it also strengthens the armature, you know, and giving you that flexibility, making these sounds without biting, because usually what people do is, and you get that sort of sense, sort of sound. So it, it's, it's keeping the armature firm without biting, and then it also then leads you to sort of uh, the altissimo register. So what the, those sounds are basically fingered overtones. So like if your front F here, which you all know, is basically an overtone of, of the A. And then your, your front G is an overtone of the B. So even though that, that is a fingering for your F and your F sharp, it's, it's basically and I'm playing that without using the front F. That's just a, a venting key, which, which sort of is your gateway to um, it's your gateway to the altissimo. So if, you, if you're looking at working on altissimo, A is usually quite easy. It's the, it's the G that, that most people trip, trip up on. But the, um, manipulating the overtones is a great exercise on, on the way to doing that.